In today's video, how your body stores body fat. Hey guys, what's going on? This is Paul Ravella from ProPhysique.com and today I have a special guest. This is Brooke Morisot from the University of South Florida's graduate program in yes. exercise science. Yes, right? yes, thank you Paul. Thank you for having me on. And also a coach here at Pro Physique, so welcome aboard. Yeah, thank you, thank you so much. She's one of our um, new coaches and uh, so what I wanted to do was bring her in because you know, I, I love this idea of how our body stores body fat and I want to talk specifically about insulin because I think it gets demonized. So I'd like to let you lead the discussion a little bit okay. and uh, we'll go from there. A lot of clients, a lot of just general public people reach out to me and ask, hey, should I stop eating cereal? Should I stop eating no. carbs? Should I stop doing all this because they're scared of one thing? Uh, they're scared of gaining fat. This is really scary to people who lack kind of the understanding of fat loss in general. Absolutely. Insulin in general, so insulin is basically a hormone that your body makes in response to the food you eat. Yes. Um, so you can eat protein, you yep. can eat fats, you can eat carbs. Um, your body's just gonna produce this insulin and it, it's gonna use it. And depending on your, kind of how much you eat on a daily basis, yeah. it's gonna determine what your body does with it. I think that's a very important thing because I think the idea is now, because of some people that put this information on the internet, uh, is that if there is any type of insulin response, it is going to be a purely stored as body fat. But we know it can actually be stored in muscle cells as well. Yeah, 100%. Um, insulin is actually super anabolic. Um, that's a good word. Anabolic means adding tissue. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So we as bodybuilders want more muscle. So this means you can get gains there from you. cereal. Yeah. Crazy. You can build muscle, eat cereal, have a bunch of insulin, and make progress towards fat loss. So that's shocking. Are you shocked? I mean, I'm not shocked. Luckily, <laughs> not you know, shocked. I had this information a decade ago, <laughs> and it just seems like bad information kind of gets cycled. And one thing I want to bring up is that. You can actually store body fat without ever having your insulin spiked. If you eat, if you eat fat, dietary fat, the body will actually just absorb that directly through the intestines into the bloodstream, making it go right into your fat cells. You don't need insulin to store body fat. So this idea that if you avoid yeah. insulin spikes, you're going to avoid fat gain yeah. is wrong. Ultimately, it's going to come down to what you said: calories yeah. and lifestyle. Yeah, yeah. I mean, like the whole idea behind like fat loss or fat gain is how many calories are you eating on a daily basis? Yeah. So what is your maintenance? And a maintenance is just the amount of calories that you eat on a daily basis to stay exactly the way you are. Um, if you're wanting to be in a deficit, just eat a little bit under that. If you're wanting to not be in a deficit, gain a little muscle, eat over that. Um, so just in general, if you're in a calorie deficit and you're nervous about insulin spikes, carbohydrates, um, gaining fat, um, you shouldn't be. Because if you're in a calorie deficit, you're gonna lose fat, period. Calorie deficit kind of trumps all other things in terms of fat loss. Yeah, and I think that's where the big confusion is. People think like it because they're fasting throughout the day, that's a very trendy thing to do, um, that somehow they're gonna avoid putting on body fat even if they're eating a lot of calories, but ultimately, the, the 24 hour window is what's driving those changes. So yeah. just because you have a meal and you spike your insulin and you store some body fat at that time, so what? Our body is always in the process of both burning and storing body fat. It's not a black and white switch that one stops the other. And if at the end of the day, you're in a deficit, guess what? You're gonna be breaking down more than you're storing. Yeah, 100%. So, I mean, at the end of the day, should you, be, should you really be scared of carbohydrates? No. Um, carbohydrates are actually something that I use, Paul uses on a daily basis to fuel the lifestyle to live that we to live the life that we want to to live, basically. Yeah, and, and obviously food choice, food volume, fiber, micronutrients, all those things matter. We're not suggesting that everyone needs to eat cereal all the time to reach their goals. But what we're suggesting is that you don't need to be afraid of things that are sugar based as long as all the other things are in check then you're gonna be just fine with your fat loss goals. Anything else? Yeah, no, I think we're all set. All right, well that's gonna be it for today's video. If you have any questions, put it in the comments below. I'll make sure Brooke jumps in there. I'll add her Instagram here if you wanna go check her out. She's a new part of Pro Physique and we're excited to have her. And I'll talk to you guys tomorrow.